Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and I am back once again with another video. Today, we're going to be discussing another what if. For today's what if, we're going to be discussing on what if the second Godzilla was in Godzilla Minus One. Now, if you don't know what I am talking about, before the movie was, was well, released, there was a popular theory that was going to be, and that theory was, there was going to be two Godzillas in this movie. One was obviously going to resemble the Godzilla the Ride design, while the other one was going to be more of a natural Godzilla with smoother skin and somewhat of a larger dorsal fin on its back. Somewhat resembling of a Orca, kind of. Now, for months, I had my fingers crossed for this theory to come, to come true, because for years, fans have always wondered what would happen if a Godzilla, what would happen if Godzilla met another Godzilla? Would the two fight, or would they actually get along? Now, the big, big deal about this particular rumor was that it was going to somewhat resemble War of the Gargantuas. I hope I got that right. But, yeah. Um, the non-radioactive Godzilla was going to be battling the mutated Godzilla. He was going to be battling, battling the mutated Godzilla... And through the first round, the mutated Godzilla wins. And the natural Godzilla goes back, leaves the city and goes back to the ocean. And at the final battle, uh, the natural Godzilla ends up saving the mutated Godzilla from the humans. And the mutated Godzilla comes out of the ocean and roars. And our heroes realizes that, well, realize that they killed the wrong Godzilla. And honestly, that sounds like a pretty damn good movie, honestly. It would have been a really great movie, honestly. But what if this actually did happen in Godzilla Minus One? What if the natural Godzilla was actually in Godzilla Minus One? Well, today we're going to go on ahead and discuss what would happen if the natural Godzilla was indeed in Godzilla minus one? We're going to explain what would happen and how would this change the events of the, the movie. Now, to fully answer this question, we got to think about Two little things. Those two things are, are about will the natural Godzilla be friendly to the humans? And most importantly, will the humans see the natural Godzilla as a friend or a foe? Today, we're going to answer that theory. So I hope you guys sit back and relax and enjoy this what if, because this is going to be a wild one. So, our story begins very similar to the original film, where our main hero lands on an island, and of course, his plane gets repaired, well, 
kind of get repaired because it wasn't really damaged and didn't really have any problems. And of course, later that night, our heroes encounter Godzilla. But what's different about this scene is that the natural Godzilla was there, he was just kind of in the background. Because he didn't want to be a threat to the humans, while Godzilla is actually hunting down the humans. Of course, the rest of that scene plays out very similar to the original, and well, we get to the main big event, where Godzilla gets mutated and becomes what he is now, Godzilla. He starts attacking the military ships and he starts to make his way towards Japan. At the same time, the non-radioactive Godzilla, the natural Godzilla, starts following the mutated Godzilla. With the intent of stopping him and trying to convince him to leave the humans alone. Of course, we would get that very, very iconic boat chase scene from the movie. Where Godzilla chases our main heroes on a boat. Godzilla is about to close in on them, but the natural Godzilla comes out of nowhere, grabs Godzilla, and pulls him back. Godzilla roars at the natural Godzilla, telling him to get out of his way. The natural Godzilla pleads with him and tries, and tries to convince him to stop. Our heroes are shocked to see two Godzillas. At first, they don't know which one to attack. Do they, do they attack the mutated one, or, they, or do they attack the one that just saved their lives? The two Godzillas argue, and Godzilla tries again to go for the boat, and tries to destroy it. But the natural Godzilla pulls him back again, and it tells him to leave the humans alone, and just, let's just go back home, dude. Like, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. But Godzilla's not having it. However, before he can strike at the natural Godzilla, trying to get him out of the way, the ship shows up and starts firing at the mutated Godzilla. The natural Godzilla quickly dives in underwater, avoiding when the missiles. But he sees his friend, the mutated Godzilla, making his way towards, towards the ship. His anger and rage is reaching to a boiling point. He attacks the ship. And, of course, destroys it. He dives on the water for once again and makes his way towards Japan. The natural Godzilla follows right behind him. The natural Godzilla is trying to avoid the humans at all times, at all costs and especially avoiding their weapons. Because the last thing he wants is the humans to think that he's helping the other Godzilla. But in reality, he's trying to stop the other Godzilla. Eventually, the two Godzillas make their way towards Ginza. And of course, Godzilla starts his rampage like in the original movie. However, instead of grabbing the train, he is stopped by the, by the natural Godzilla. The mutated Godzilla roars in anger at his friend, while the natural Godzilla pleads, his, pleads with his friend 
and try to convince him to leave the humans alone. This results into an all-out fight. However, thanks to the nuclear energy, and of course his newfound abilities, like his regeneration, well, obviously he has a regeneration, but, you know, his atomic power, the mutated Godzilla gets the upper hand of the natural Godzilla, and completely overpowers the natural Godzilla, forcing him to retreat. The rest of the, the rest of the Ginza attack plays out very similar to the original film. After this attack, our heroes end up discussing their plan to kill the mutated Godzilla. At this point, they have come to the realization that the natural Godzilla is indeed not their enemy. In fact, he is their ally, within a way. He has been trying to stop the, na the mutated Godzilla from destroying their city and killing more innocent lives. Because if, if the natural Godzilla really wanted to help the other Godzilla, he would actually, actually help the, help the mutated Godzilla instead of trying to stop him. But instead, so the whole time, he's been trying to stop his friend. Our heroes continue to, you know, with their debate, and of course, they start to work on their plan to kill the mutated Godzilla. Some people, however, are concerned that if they killed well, the mutated Godzilla, it's going to get the natural Godzilla pissed off, and it's going to end up attacking them as well. However, some of our heroes don't believe that, and believe that the natural gods will not betray them. And so the plan begins. It's with our main character leading Godzilla to the ocean. This is where he's ambushed once again by the, muta by the natural Godzilla. The natural Godzilla fights with the mutated Godzilla. What? While this is going on, our heroes began their plan to kill the mutated Godzilla. However, for what they didn't realize was that they accidentally ended up killing the natural Godzilla. They killed the natural Godzilla, and as a result, it gets the mutated Godzilla even more pissed. He roars in the sky as if he is mourning for the loss of his friend. He looks at the humans and decides to leave them alone. And the heroes and our heroes look at at the, at Godzilla as he swims away. Now they have officially started a war with Godzilla, because not only did they mutate in him. But they also killed their only hope of stopping him and his friend. So there you go. There is what would happen if the other Godzilla was in Godzilla minus one. So what do you guys think? Do you guys, do you guys think? What do you guys think? What would happen if the natural Godzilla was in Godzilla minus one? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.